Kamala Harris is Martin Luther King Jr. Donald Trump's choice for vice president on the Republican ticket is J.D. Vance, a candidate well known for defining himself by the places he's lived. As told in his best-selling memoir, Hillbilly Elegy and the Ron Howard-directed film, J.D. Vance grew up in a middle-class Ohio home in the Rust Belt and often visited his family's old Kentucky home. Economic downturns and drug abuse significantly impacted both areas as well as Vance's family. Despite these challenges, Vance served four years in the Marines graduated from Ohio State University with a degree in political science and philosophy, and earned a law degree from Yale. After his education, he wrote his memoir, worked in the San Francisco Bay Area, and was elected U.S. Senator from Ohio in 2022. Throughout his journey, he's also collected some impressive properties, owning homes in Ohio, Washington, D.C., and Virginia. J.D. Vance was born in 1984 to a couple who soon separated. When he was very young, his father moved away and his parents divorced when he was six. Afterwards, his mother struggled with addiction and mental health issues and reportedly abused him physically. As a result, Vance was placed in the care of his grandparents. He grew up in Middletown, Ohio, and the childhood home referenced in Hillbilly Elegy is located there. Despite the chaos he experienced during his early years, Vance credits his upbringing with shaping his character and resilience. Vance's cousin Bonnie Mybers confirmed that Hillbilly Elegy accurately portrayed their family life. She explained the term hillbilly came from their grandmother, affectionately known as Mama, who used it to describe their family as hill people. The home where Vance grew up was actually pretty normal looking though. It was reported to have three bedrooms and 2,000 square feet of living space, not four bedrooms as previously mentioned. Built in 1900, it was considered middle class during his childhood. The two-story home underwent significant renovations in 2017 and would be worth around $300 thousand dollars in today's market. However, this isn't the only home with ties to JD located in Ohio. In 2018, Vance and his wife Usha, a lawyer from San Diego who resigned from her position at Munger Tolls in Olson following her husband's VP nomination, purchased a pre-Civil War home in Cincinnati for nearly $1.4 million. Built in 1858, the 6,405-square-foot home features five bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. Situated on about 2.3 acres in East Walnut Hills, it's located in a mostly liberal neighborhood. Other features of Vance's Victorian era home include a carriage house, apartments, a gated swimming pool, a pool house, and hiking trails. Prior to Vance moving in, the home underwent renovations and updates. Reports show the kitchen sits next to a breakfast nook and vaulted sunroom and also opens to a patio with stone fireplace and side yard. Nearby, there's a children's playroom as well as the fully equipped one-bedroom apartment in the carriage house. Much of the home kept its 19th century charm, featuring original wood floors, trim, and 10-foot, 11-inch high ceilings. A white spindled staircase with decorative molding leads from the entry hall to the second floor, where four spacious family bedrooms and a servant's bedroom and bath are located. I don't think they're going to use it for that anymore, but once upon a time it was. One bedroom includes a fireplace, while another features a cozy west-facing nook. JD's master suite offers a glimpse of the Ohio River through its large south-facing window, while there's also an attached bath with its floor-to-ceiling tiles. The landscape yard boasts mature hardwood trees, several native plants, stone patios, pathways, and low retaining walls. After his election to the U.S. Senate, J.D. Vance purchased a home in the Washington, D.C. area. He acquired the Alexandria, Virginia residence through a limited liability company for about $1.6 million. The stylish farmhouse home is said to boast over 2,500 square feet, along with five beds and four baths. The Vance family received a unique welcome to their left-leaning neighborhood, described by the Washingtonian as a yarn bombing. Local knitters apparently decked out a utility pole, signpost, and tree outside their new home with knitted flags, a crocheted rainbow, and a pink and white sign reading, Respect Our Rights. Well, originally built in 1925, the Vance's home has been recently renovated. Notable features include mature gardens, custom masonry and cabinets, wood floors, and a classic Alexandria front porch. According to listing materials, the property blends traditional Delray charm with modern elements. 
The main house has an open floor plan with elegant wood floors, while there's also an upper level laundry, a luxury master suite with separate exercise room or office, and more. The home's thoughtfully designed with many custom touches, like wood burning fireplaces in both the main house and guest house and two beverage fridges for effortless entertaining. The guest house is full of natural light, featuring hardwood floors, a kitchenette, and a full bathroom with in-floor heating. The standalone home is set in the left-leaning Delray neighborhood, where nearly 81% of voters in Alexandria actually supported Biden in the 2020 election. After looking at J.D. Vance's homes, we can see the locations of his properties might not align with his political stance, but he seems to love the neighborhoods he lives in anyways. From the elegant farmhouse in Del Rey with its custom features to his home in Cincinnati, we can see JD likes a blend of charming history and modern amenities. That'll wrap up today's tour, but would you be able to live in a town that supported opposite political views from yours? Why or why not? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. I'm Kara, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye.